Hey everyone, it's Mika. I'm here to talk to you about sunscreen. It's summer, it's hot, we need to protect our skin. So ever since I had Frankie, seven, almost eight years ago, sunscreen has been super important. Gotta keep those babies safe. So every year, end of spring, when I would need to buy a new bottle, I would always go on the EWG website. They have a really awesome sunscreen rating um, website, and you can go on there and see what's healthiest. Um, so I would always do that, whatever I see, I thought seemed healthiest, I would purchase on Amazon and um, good to go, last me the summer. Lately, now that the Think Dirty app is out, um, last time I ran to Target before we went camping, I wanted a good sunscreen, so I quickly went on the Think Dirty app and got one. Now, my favorite company came out with a sunscreen. There you go, Young Living Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. I fully trust this company, everything they make, I no longer have to search. I will always be buying this one. Um, I was lucky enough to bring this home from Salt Lake City last week, and I've been using it ever since. I've been using it on myself, on my face. Uh, I went to the pool the other day and um, did my body, worked awesome. The girls started camp, they've been using it for camp. Frankie, ridiculously beautiful tanning skin, we don't have to worry too much about her, but she still uses sunscreen. Etta, beautiful skin, but very different from her sister's burns really bad, so we have to be very careful. Um, so let me just tell you a little bit about their new sunscreen and um, why I'm excited about it. Mainly, there's no crap in it. There's no toxic ingredients. Totally baby safe. You, you're, you're good to go. You're good to put this on your body. You're good to put it on your kids' bodies. You know that there's no crap in it that's going to um, cause the big C word. We want to stay away from all of that. Um, just to let you know the directions on the back. You're supposed to apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. It suggests to reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating and immediately after towel drying and reapply about every two hours. Um, it is a broad spectrum sunscreen and what that means is broad spectrum means that it protects against the UV a rays and also the UVB rays. An easy way to think of that is UVA stands for aging, uh, UVB stands for burning. So it's going to protect you against both of those rays. Um, it also, the active ingredient in it is zinc oxide. It is non-nano zinc oxide. Um, the difference between non-nano zinc oxide and the regular nano zinc oxide would be um, non-nano stays on the top of your skin and does its job protecting your skin. Nano, the particles are so small that they're going to penetrate your skin and go into your bloodstream and you don't want that. So this stuff is super awesome. It's non-whitening. So, you know, you're not going to send your kid out there and they're going to look like a lifeguard. It blends in nice, smooth. You're not going to feel greasy. It's really great. I've actually been using it on my face and I'm prone to breakouts. And I've been using it probably a week and a half now every morning on my face. And no breakouts. We love that. Uh, so I learned a lot about sunscreen in the last uh, week and a half, and I'll tell you why. So you're gonna notice on here, it says SPF of 10. And you may think, what the heck, 10? That's not gonna do anything. Okay, so here's what I learned. And I'm actually not gonna go into all the crazy science about it because there's a really good article on the EWG website that I'm gonna post in the comments. So you can go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so just to let you know, what I learned, the SPF actually has more to do with time than actually protecting you. Um, what I mean by that is, let's just say if you were to put nothing on your skin and you go out in the sun and after about 10 minutes you burn. Like you're, you're that, <clears throat> you're that white, <laughs> then you're going to burn bad after 10 minutes. Okay, so if this is a 10 SPF, you multiply this by 10. So 10 times 10, 100. You're gonna be protected for 100 minutes. 
okay? So that's also one of the reasons why they say to reapply um, about every two hours, but especially if you're swimming and sweating 80 minutes. So there you go. Um, let me just check my notes real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, that article that I'm going to post below from the EWG website is going to explain why higher SPFs um, do not necessarily give you more protection. And I shouldn't even say necessarily. They just don't. And you'll see why in that article. Um, hey, one thing to really think about, and um, someone pointed this out that I was listening to, and I can't believe that I didn't think of this, but let me just put this thought in your head. So say you're using your you know, normal drugstore um, sunscreen, slathering that on your kids, full of crazy toxins, and then you send them out into the 98 degree sun. Well, think about that. You're pretty much sending you and your kid out into an oven, and the sun is baking crazy toxins under your skin. So let's just let that settle for a second and think about that how horrible that is. Um, let's just say, let's hypothetically, let's just say that that same sunscreen actually protects the kid from burning. Awesome. But it's still literally baking on crazy toxins onto your kid's skin. Or I, I shouldn't just say kids. Everyone. Everyone. But, you know, when it comes to all this stuff, we think of our kids first. Um, so great. They didn't get sunburned. But what's going to happen down the road? You know? Um, we do all this because we don't want the big C. So that's what I'm doing for my kids, trying to keep them safe, starting all this young so when they're old, they don't have to deal with all that. So there you go, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.